Introducing Easy Beta from Sony. Norman Betamax. A simple idea in video cassette recorders. Norman, play. Norman, freeze. Every function is controlled by a single touch. Norman, beta scan. Norman, what's up? So if you thought VCRs were complicated, Sony made them a touch easier. Norman. Easy beta. Simply amazing, because it's amazingly simple. I refinished this beautiful piece all by myself, and I can't even change a light bulb. A pro wanted $300 to refinish this. I did it myself for 15. Formby's furniture refinisher can make a believer out of you, because it works unlike anything you've ever seen. It dissolves old varnish lacquer or shellac without stripping, sanding, or scraping. With my furniture refinisher, it's a pleasure to create a treasure. Homer Formby. No one knows wood as good. Now, try my new wood stains and finishes, too. Coming up next on CBS Sports, the boxing finals from the Pan American Games. See America's future Olympians in their quest for gold medals on CBS Sports. Next. Hi there. This is Doak Walker, a member of the 1949 Cotton Bowl champions, SMU Mustangs. Here's how the Southwest Conference coaches see their race this season. The number one. Texas Longhorns. Number two, SMU, my alma mater. Number three, Arkansas. Number four, University of Houston. Number five, Texas A&M. Number six, the good old Baylor Bears. Number seven, Texas Tech. Number eight, those TCU Frogs. Number nine, the Rice Owls. Doak Walker, SMU. He was my childhood hero, but anyone who plays football in the state of Texas is a hero. It's a state where football is a year-round obsession. Vern Lundquist tries to unravel the mystique of the Southwest Conference, otherwise known as the Texas Football League. it's so exciting and the fans and, and it's just the whole camaraderie of, of the whole affair you know it's fun like going to Austin ahead of time going to Schultz's you know and drinking beer before the game and you know and then everybody going down the street and hooking horns hello Texas, hello, Texas. sure it's good to see you again we think it eat it breathe it and sleep it all year long but hello Texas sure it's good to see me friend yeah the only time Football in Texas isn't important. Is four years born and after you die. It was Jones Ramsey, the recently retired sports information director here at the University of Texas, who said it first. At Texas, he said, we have only two sports, football and spring football. Residents of the Mideast or the Midwest or the far west or the southeast might grow up believing that their kind of football is the only kind of football. But folks who follow Southwest Conference football and who do so with a zealousness bordering on fanaticism know it just isn't so. Here is where football is religion. Here where youngsters are immersed in the faith at a tender age and sprout to adolescence believing that Daryl Royal is king and Earl Campbell is immortal. Here where mamas do teach their sons to grow up to be cowboys. This is a part of the country that believes man is created with certain inalienable rights, life, liberty, and pursuit of a national championship. Folks, this is serious stuff. Memorial Stadium in Austin hasn't been the home field of a number one team in 13 years, but this fall, the Longhorns are loaded. Irvin Davis is one of six offensive starters returning from a team that surprised folks with a 9-3 and record in 82. And linebacker Jeff Lighting, number 60, is one of nine, nine men coming back on the defensive unit, which means Coach Fred Akers and his troops could be doing their celebrating in the Cotton Bowl on January 2nd. The affluent alumni of SMU didn't fly far to follow the Mustangs in last year's brilliant season. The Pony Express played all 12 games in Texas. Coach Bobby Collins has lost Eric Dickerson and Craig James to the pros, though. Yet gutsy little Lance McElhaney has shown he can throw when he has to, and Bobby Leach is back to catch it. Arkansas fans will spend this season cheering for a team in transition. Lou Holtz says the only folks he's got coming back are alumni, and they can't play. And that's not so good if you're the only school in the conference outside the state of Texas. It's like being in the Army. 
You don't want to be there sometimes, but you're glad you're not at war. At Texas A&M, it's said the week is divided into three parts, before the game, the game, and after the game. Jackie Sherrill deals with alumni more mindful of tradition than almost anywhere. 61 years ago, Dr. E. King Gill came out of the stands to suit up for the Aggies, the original 12th man. This fall, members of the Cadet Corps will suit up for home games at Kyle Field. It's kind of like a, a tradition, you know, it's been tradition in the university for 100 years. This is the first time the 12th man will actually enter the game. On the quiet campus of Texas Christian University, an effervescent breath of fresh air is being pumped into a long dormant program. See it easy, Kenneth? Good, good. Get him up high, get him stretched, get him stretched. Jim Wacker has been a winner. He's won national titles at both Southwest Texas State and at Texas Lutheran College. But can he produce a winner like this in the major college level? That's just one concern in this sometimes crazy region, a place where the possibilities of the TCUs whomping the SMUs or the Aggies whooping up on the horns are subjects of intense debate. After all, us whooping up on them is what's really important in the Southwest Conference. Tiger, if you want to go the distance, you need really tough paws. Uniroyal's All-Weather Tiger Paw Plus. It gets a grip on that tough, twisting road and just eats up the miles. Tiger Paw Plus gets an average of 20% more mileage than Michelin X. That's what tests project. It laughs at the weather and keeps right on roaring. For mile after mile after mile. Uniroyal, we give you more to go on. A revolutionary breakthrough in business and personal productivity from Radio Shack. The TRS-80 Model 100 Portable Computer. Its built-in programs help you organize and keep track of appointments and personal files, do word processing, or send important information to your office, even after hours. The Model 100. It goes anywhere, including on your desk. The revolutionary TRS-80 Model 100. Just $7.99. Only at Radio Shack and Radio Shack Computer Centers. The computer experts. Comparing a foam shave with an edge gel shave made real news. Now we're making news again with new skin conditioning edge with lanolin. Most men agree. Our newest gel lets you shave closer than the leading foam. Better still, it conditions your skin. So it feels smoother. Discover new skin conditioning edge with lanolin. For smoother skin, it could be the best news your face ever had. I'm Gil Sayers, first All-American at the University of Kansas. Here's the way the Big A coaches sees the conference race shaping up this year. Oklahoma is number one. They have an outstanding running back and sophomore Marcus Dupree. Nebraska is number two. They also have an outstanding running back and Heisman candidate Mike Rozier. Missouri is number three. Oklahoma State is number four. Kansas State is number five. My alma mater, Kansas, is number six. Iowa State is number seven. Colorado. Number eight. Gale Sayers. He was called the Kansas Cyclone. And like the tornadoes that sweep across the plains, so have the runners of the Big Eight. Runners like Terry Miller, Oklahoma State. And who could forget Heisman Trophy winner, Johnny Rogers. Let's join Steve Davis, who is on the campus of the University of Oklahoma. Power, strength, and speed. Three words that vividly describe the Big 8 Conference. Today, the Big 8 is considered the premier conference in the country for producing great linemen and running backs because of its historical commitment to the running game. In fact, since 1950, a Big 8 team has won the national rushing title 14 times. No other conference can match that performance. But the conference is changing. Second-year Colorado coach Bill McCartney and first-year coaches Mike Godfrey of Kansas and Jim Kreiner of Iowa State all have offensive strategies that rely on the pass heavily. Then there's Oklahoma and Nebraska with head coaches Barry Switzer and Tom Osborne, two legacies in themselves. Amazingly, these two schools for the past 37 years have either shared or earned outright the conference championship 35 times. But even with that kind of dominance, both schools are in transition. Oklahoma is now recruiting quarterbacks that can throw, while Nebraska and senior Turner Gill have a quarterback that can throw and run equally well. 
But don't think for a second that the Big 8 Conference has abandoned the run. The nation's number one rusher in 1982 was Oklahoma State's Ernest Anderson. He'll return in 1983 to lead Jimmy Johnson's Cowboys. Mike Rogier, Nebraska's eye back, will also help to perpetuate the running tradition of the Big 8 Conference. And then there's one more name that should join the elite list of college football's favorite sons. Names like O.J. Simpson, Earl Campbell, Herschel Walker. His name is Marcus, Marcus Dupree of Oklahoma.